So good evening, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. And uh, this particular, you know, this is a weekday special webinar. And today we are going to continue on the topic, which is presently is the need of the hour. You might have heard, might have heard the recent incident where, you know, uh, uh, work overwhelm, especially uh, work overwhelm due to uh working environment and you know toxic working condition it led to the it led to the demise of one of the talented professionals you might have heard that news if you don't know about it just you know you understand that how much it is important to manage your work and life especially uh, work overwhelm you know that happens due to many reasons but we'll try to understand why it turned to the extreme situation because anything, any any challenging work or maybe work can be challenging if you are not aware of it or if it is too much of overwhelm, you are not able to balance it or you are new to that field. So it can be any situation and the present scenario, the news which we are, we are hearing about it, it is more, you know, some new environment. It is uh, the young professional named, uh, you know, Anna, she was a uh, new to uh, her work field. So reasons can be anything, but work overwhelm, especially the stress, anxiety, and the hectic routine, how much toll it can ta take more beyond, you know, mental health. So we have seen that. So let's take it this topic, uh, you know, seriously, and we have to start working on that, you know, on the daily basis. And this is the your start because this is the first step towards it to know know about yourself where you are so today's topic is that only it's about more you will be discovering yourself mm -hmm. and i'm also going to tell you about the my three secrets with respect to stress healing through painting so these are the my uh, main agenda of today's webinar and other than that i do have a one membership silver membership which i'm going to tell you so what are the few ground rules i just want to set it like any questions you can ask it there is a dedicated Q&A also. And if you will stay till the end of the webinar, I have special, you know, uh, gifts series for you, not one or two, total six gifts I will be giving you. So for that, you have to claim it by end of the webinar. So let's continue with today's uh, presentation. And uh, uh, so before that, actually, I would like to thank you for, you know, taking out time in your busy schedule, especially on the weekdays. and joining this webinar because it is going to be a life changing for you especially and uh, it will also help you with respect to i just give me a second 
it will help you with respect to you know start your journey in the healing space especially stress healing and because i myself worked in the it industry so you will be getting guidance also how to manage your work so that work is work become work it doesn't causes stress tension or any health related issues especially so let's continue with today's presentation so our topic is basically how to unlock happiness you know and transform stress into creative art through painting using my proprietary model that is i call it as a happiness painting model so that is a topic which we are going to cover today now let's understand rules i have already told you these are the seven gifts painting exercise worth you know 1000 rupees and this is a time and energy management tool high quality digital copy of my 10 masterpieces worth 5000 rupees best seller book and also catalog discount and more than that healing and balance buddy this is a ai based prompts which will help you to give you direction if you are immediately you need a you know uh, immediately you need a certain solution these prompts and this buddy will help you this will address any micro problem let's take an example of your work life balance if you are facing certain issues or any or any specific maybe colleague related conflicts you are facing so it will give you give you step by step plan to address that strategically so that it doesn't cause you further stress or tension because my main motto is not to give everything on the day one because if i'll give everything on the day one it will be again a further stress for you so it will help you to tackle that step by step so that it doesn't disrupt your current work you know especially and it will also help you to take a immediate action suppose you are in extreme stressful situation extreme toxic environment so it will help you to take a immediate step because for that we cannot wait a step by step right you have to take the decision appropriately so that it doesn't cause you further issues like the incident happened right recently considering that i have created this so what is the agenda for today's webinar we are going to learn about the statistic how my journey started what is my mission my three secrets i am also going to offer the product let's understand the statistics it's it's pretty shocking statistic if we take a uh, especially the data with respect to anxiety and the depressive disorders you can see almost you know 32.3 percentage of people go through the anxiety and the depressive disorders so that is our next stage of the stress when we talk about the stress it is almost 73 percentage 73 percentage people go through stress working professionals if we see the age wise 18 to 49 it is more prone to the anxiety and the depressive disorders stress is a huge data so which this is slide is covering more details about the stress previous was the outcomes you know anxiety that is extreme it's a, it's a beyond stress now stress is a most underrated medical condition due to its ignorance and unawareness about its outcome so let me tell you the outcome what can happen if you prolong your stress so uh, normally you know stress take a toll of uh, especially on your productivity in in your mental health which directly impact your physical health psychological health when we talk about the psychological health it doesn't just limit it to the behavior side i will tell you that in the next slide it will also take a toll on your all area of you maybe you might not be uh, you know focusing that or noticing that but will start taking a toll on each and every area of your life due to psychological changes first of all or behavior changes also because our surrounding is what we are right so if something is impacting you we'll see that difference in our surroundings also and uh, let me talk about what people say about it so 76 percentage people say their stress is due to money and work so 
money and work is a main reason for the stress. 48% people don't get healthy sleep due to stress. And when money and work especially, you know, causes the stress, it reflect on relationships also because everything is linked. We say like it's a separated relationship family. No, it's not one. What happens at the workplace if your finances, your work, work routine, etc. is getting impacted? You will see the direct impact on your relationships and your surrounding also. If you don't believe me, try it out one day. So it impact a lot. Now, 48% people don't get healthy sleep due to stress because stress is a something uh, totally impact our, you know, neurological condition. So sometimes due to deep thinking or negative thinking, all we don't get a healthy sleep also and which takes a toll on our productive for the next day. Now you, you just imagine if continuously it is happening, how much harm it is causing to your body if you are not able to recover that sleep also. 54% people accept stress caused unusual behavior to them. You will be able to notice that behavior, but you might be ignoring it or sometime normal tendency, normal uh, defending mechanism of our body if we don't want to address anything, that is a non-acceptance. So that might be the reason you know that, but you are not ready to accept it. That can also happen. But 54 people, percentage people accept stress caused uh, unusual behavior to them. Stre extreme stress leads to many psychological dis disorder, which we will cover in the next slide. And then impact is not just limited to the psychological because everything is driven by our brain, neuro, neuro neurons and all. So if that is lit literally struggling, it takes a toll on your physical health also, your motivation also, because physical health is totally driven by mm -hmm. our internal motivation, how much we want to work right on our body. So physical health also take a toll. It take a toll on your intake, food intake, nutrition, everything. Now let's understand the cost. Once you lose the track of your, especially the, you know, uh, uh, stress outcome and it turned to the severe, uh, severe situations, then it's not like a normal treatment. Medicines are very expensive and that will become a part of normal routine because if it turns into the depression or the depressive disorders, you cannot rely on the simple things because it really take a toll on, you know, it's, it's a like a living and, uh, you know, a die situation. So you will be forced to take those medicines, especially for your survival. So that is the extreme state I'm talking about. Now let's understand how it impacts the four dimension, body, mind, emotions, and behavior. So body side, it uh, starts with the headaches, torn muscles, frequent infections, muscular twitches, skin irritation, breathless, and fatigue. Mind side, mur worrying, muddling, thinking, impaired judgment, nightmare, hazy decisions, negativity, and indecisionness. Behavior side, smoking more, restlessness, isonemia, loss of sex drive, drinking more, and loss of appetite. An emotion side, confidence, for uh, loss of confidence, fuzziness, irritability, anxiety, alienation, depression, and apathy. So these happens at the four dimensions, right? Four dimensions due to just what is a simple thing? That is a stress. Now let's understand at the bodily side how much in, it impact. So basically, when we go through the stress, our brain releases the hormone named cortisol which, you know, uh, negatively impact most of our body parts. Whether it is a fertility issue, whether it is a BP issue, whether it is a suppressed immune system, right? Or the overweight or, you know, a metabolism of the fat. That is the reason your people keep gaining weight also and they're not able to reduce. That main reason will be stress. Reduced bone density and then, you know, sodium, water and liver, so many so many impact and more than that, what it impact? Our mind, especially our thinking pattern, it impacts, which drive our lifestyle, right? The decision we take, the, you know, day-to-day uh, -day activity we go through, productivity, work, relationship, everything in it impact. So that is a, that is a, our root core of everything. Now let's understand how stress work. So stress starts with the, if you see the stress curve, especially in the left side, any situation come, you know, especially. 
it's not necessary it will put you into stress it's not necessary it depend on person to person situation people or thing you know that that differ that is the reason i keep saying each one is a different we all are not same everybody's experience is same everybody's history is same everybody's a genes are same fingerprints also cannot be same then how people can be same so everybody is a stress threshold is different so maybe i am not getting strength, stressed on the certain situation maybe a child or somebody can get stressed seeing you know some some threatening situation so that that is the reason stress curve differ from person to person now let's consider the average person you know if it is starts with certain maybe challenging situation it is a too little stress is start so nothing bodily will body will work you know calmly our mind will be relaxed nothing will happen the moment it becomes slightly you know a challenging it turns into the fatigue then fatigue it can be exhausting then from exhausting it can be anxiety panic attack or the anger and finally breakdown happened you know so uh, if you are in the working situation especially environment where it is not a very expressive environment you know expressive in the sense you cannot express your stress also you cannot express the your anger also you cannot express so chances are mostly breakdown breakdown happened especially in the cases when environment is extremely toxic and you cannot even express what you are going through so normally breakdown happens if we uh, let's take an example of the recent uh, incident because i cannot comment on anything which i have not done let's uh, take a similar incident if environment is extremely toxic or you are not able to express and you don't have a support system so chances are more panic attack first of all or finally the breakdown so when breakdown happen we doesn't talk about that extreme situation that might be different region blood pressure whatever it is but normally extreme burnout have happen and it's a loss of physical and mental energy like you cannot do anything after that you know that that happens in the extreme situation it happens but normal day to day day to day situation if environment is you know expressive and you can express so it can turn into the anxiety or it can turn into the anger especially or panic attacks panic attacks causes the breathlessness so you can un understand like you know what what can be the worst condition just due to the stress now how to manage that so my i always recommend for the stress management strategy which differ from person to person so your stress management strategy should be in such a way like it doesn't cause into it doesn't go here you do not exhaust yourself you do not exhaust you know your threshold this is your threshold after that for me it will turn into fatigue so i don't want to go into breakdown or anxiety panic attack so i will take a proactive measures before that only same time i'll keep a check on myself how much stress i can take it and i will manage myself with respect to the stress especially part that is the reason knowing stress curve is very important now let's understand how the my journey started so i am a founder of happiness painting club and i worked in the it industry for more than 18 years and i worked for the multiple assignments and multiple mncs different client financial and then retail and all a hectic assignments also and simple assignment so what is a common pattern i have seen especially working especially in the work environment because i am i am especially addressing the it experts so what is a common pattern i have seen related to the working environment everything is driven by people especially work doesn't cause a stress how you manage the work how the team manages the work and how the leadership manages the work that causes the stress or basically overall how we are managing the work environment that causes the stress work never causes a stress as long as you know how to manage yourself how to manage your work and leadership also know how to manage environment because that is their core right so this is what my common pattern i have observed it and uh, even i have seen the you know very friendly work environment turning into the toxic environment just due to lack of management especially you know proper 
it can be people management also it can be work management also it can be skill management also anything but how simple environment can turn into the toxic environment which causes unpredictability stress on the daily basis so this is my common pattern i have observed so i have started my journey with the satyam computers uh, especially in year 2016 which was got into the scam and which was taken over by the tech mahindra then after that in year 2009 i have joined sl Te technologies and there i have stayed for more than 13 years then i joined ibm uh, in year 2022 and uh, uh, i just stayed for six uh, you know months i will tell that story then after that i went into coaching and i have joined the uh, internet lifestyle hub and from there i have developed my communities especially so this was my journey especially these are all all my colleagues and uh, you know this is my family so i have been a consistent performer with respect to my work so that is the reason i can claim uh, work never causes issue especially if you are able to manage yourself you are able to manage your environment and especially the work life balance you know if you are able to do that now let's understand these all are my accolades especially you know with respect to my it industry and i do have a personal because from childhood only i was more into a uh, different set of skills other than school curriculum i used to learn everything else also artistic activities and all those things if you see my the background i have been through the childhood traumatic experience when we talk about the childhood traumatic experience we relate that one incident or two incident for me every day was a traumatic due to my family condition and it was hectic and it was a very traumatic and for that also i was very focused with respect to my studies because when you see that environment you will be motivated to do better in other other area right so my other area was my education because i realized education yeah. is the only thing which can bring me out of this so i was very focused on that and then i went into once i grew up i went into engineering especially and then uh, you know i i did well over there and i go, i got into a multinational company and i worked there so i realized uh, you know i especially i realized like education and financial independence is very important if you really want to live life stress free then both are important you know you should have a skills first of all so that you can utilize that second thing is financial indep independence because if you are financially independent you have you can build a safe environment around you you can give a better life to your family right so then automatically stress you know everything goes down as long as you are giving everything will be under control so this is what i realized from my childhood only so after my first first child birth i went into postpartum depression due to lack of family support then i came out uh, from it within a few months only but uh, uh, then i have grown a lot also even after with my child also i have grown a lot you know but due to certain role changes and uh, due to unstructured work environment i started feeling you know constant work st stress because i am more organized i work and i i work better in the organized uh, structure uh, you know as compared to unorganized ad hoc work request daily something daily timeline are changing something like that morning you will not be knowing what you will do at the evening so that type of unstructured work environment working with the sales team and pre sales team it is like that so that moment i started feeling the official constant work stress and then official distress and anxiety that started developing me from uh, you know year 2016 then i started i motivated myself to reconnect with my childhood passion that was a painting and i used to do a, a lot that used to help me with respect to uh, you know my stress relief that used to help then from that year actually it started a journey uh, with respect to you know a lot of different thing because i realized the more you will uh, you know climb the ladder corporate ladder uh, we think like you know there there'll be uh, more challenges with respect to you know working with the different type of leadership and there will be uh, totally so i was once upon a time i was targeted by the you know upper senior management also for just raising the genuine issues 
so i worked in the toxic environment was where you cannot even speak you cannot give your voice also so that that type of leadership also i have seen and when i joined my ibm i was literally you know uh, uh, like bullied in one of the assignment that was a domestic indian assignment so there for that also raising complaint i turn into something else and finally to i was blamed and i was terminated from my job so after that i lost a sense of myself at one side but other side i felt very free because i don't have to go and see there on daily basis who are directly doing you know in injustice to me at least i don't have to see their faces and i don't have to sit with them so i felt so relaxed to you know after especially that incident also and same time i have joined the internet lifestyle hub and i have built so many courses community i have launched my courses i have launched my virtual gallery and i have launched my, i have written few children book also and i have launched my multiple exhibitions and i have became a co co-author with my mentor and then i participated in many you know offline events also uh, from year 2016 when i started seeing difference in myself especially with respect to the work work in the sense i am very passionate about my work and i used to enjoy a lot but i was able to observe that uh, difference in myself the work i used to enjoy i was not enjoying that anymore so that diverted me into different area especially in the neuro linguistic programming then coaching industry then art side more in advance you know and then life coaching everything so i started exploring everything one by one then i came across one of the you know digital coaching uh, i was not at all aware what is a digital coaching but i i came across one of the you know mentor named siddharth rashikar so i have joined his membership especially which i was watching from long time but i was not taking you know that because i was my uh, schedule was very hectic and uh, it was i was not at all having time for myself so i thought what time i'll give it to you know especially for learning something totally new um, on the different industry but i took that decision when i was in ibm and uh, you know that was a best decision especially in year 2023 so my mission is to empower and help one lakh busy it professionals to achieve stress relief and creative growth through the happiness painting because that really helped me that helped me with respect to the stress relief it helped me to calm myself in the toughest situation and the toxic environment even in the toxic family environment also it really helped help me to find a joy within life and find a joy within work also and how to balance so this really helped me so what are my top 3 secrets my top 3 secrets are very simple you might have heard that we hear so many things but we do not act on that we do not take any action on that so my secret number 1 is like exploring exploring the therapeutic power of breast stroke and the acceptance because when we uh, think about painting or when we hear about painting we think about the creative work we think about some you know masterpieces somebody some artist is creating and we do not associate that with ourselves but let me tell you painting is not just that painting is not the you know uh, proprietary of just artist or somebody is having artistic degree it's, it's not for that i am doing painting from my childhood without even much assistance also later point of time i got so many you know uh, people around that so it is it is something therapeutic therapeutic it's not just for artist it is for everybody it's for everybody and it is not at all associated with any any specific degree in the art or college it is a some god gifted thing which is for everyone when you really want to go through the healing side so what are the you know uh, different elements of the painting and therapeutic power of brush stroke especially you will not realize if i'll tell you so how will you realize when you start doing it you will see the difference mm -hmm. painting helps you to bring out best in you whether it is a creativity whether it is a relaxation what is whether it is just enjoying that time you know just if you don't have any problem also stress and all just enjoying that time it really helps you because it help you to connect with yourself painting is not just about creating artwork just mountain trees and all you have created mm -hmm. through painting you will learn to discover yourself we hear so much of news about the other world other countries and all but 
least we will be knowing about yourself. So painting helps to bring out, you know, your own self-discovery. It will put you in the flow zone. It will help you to improve your focus. And more than that, because I am addressing stress, it is a stress outlet. You can burst your stress and relax your mind in the creative manner on daily basis. Now let's understand the different brush strokes actually. So these all paintings are especially the therapeutic brush stroke. Each one depicts certain story that is a specific type which really relaxes our mind, which bring out the focus and which is just a creative work to enjoy. So each painting is having its own story. Now let's understand what is the secret number two. So secret number two is painting, doing painting is not enough. Being vulnerable on authentic by expression because I was talking about the working environment especially. We are not able to express ourselves fully. So painting gives you the outlet to self-express. That is very important to expressing yourself, you know, every day that is very important. So painting helps you give you the channel to show your vulnerability or authenticity somewhere especially. Not in the working environment, in the safe space where you will not be judged first of all and you can tell anything because same thing if you'll be telling into the your official environment which i have seen in the corporate so it can you will say a it can turn into the z so this is what it happens you know the you will tell something about somebody and how it's been used you know that information you you cannot rely on that so painting give you the best way to express yourself authentically and you can express your vulnerability also. Now, top secret is painting is not just a hobby. It is a well-proven, you know, health management tool. We call it as a art therapy. It, it helps to, you know, uh, heal yourself. It helps to, with respect to your, uh, any health issue, cognitive side or behavioral side, everything it can, uh, it can address that. Now let's understand, uh, you know, showing the vulnerability. When we talk about showing the vulnerability, it can be direct, it can be indirect, it can be uh, abstract form also, it can be, you know, symbolism also, exactly depicting that. So you can choose what it works for you, especially, and you can express that. It's not necessary always to express everything in the, you know, a symbolic manner where you represent the same situation. It's not necessary. Even a simple indirect representation also it helps. So for that, we do have a, some grounding exercise. So we set the intention before doing any work. We set the intention and we associate that. We associate everything in mind and then we, you know, express that. So whoever is watching, maybe they cannot understand. But because you did that, you will be able to understand. So let's understand this painting leftmost. That is a gratitude exercise. If somebody outside person will see it's a flora, floral, you know, that, that presentation. But if you set the intent, like you are expressing gratitude. So while doing that, you will be doing that exercise. So I do have a certain training program for that. Now let's understand the secret number three. Secret number three is totally everybody can resonate and relate with that. That is a time management. So IT is a very dynamic and I do understand because when I was working, it was really difficult to take out time. But I promise you, I have created a framework in such a way like magical 30 minutes weekly four times. That is also enough. But if you are going through the severe, I would suggest five, five to six. But 30 minutes are really enough. And these 30 minutes, you can bring out everything. Whether it is a stress, whether it is a joy or any emotions, you can express that and you can just take it out and uh, self-express yourself. It can really, you know, change your mood. Whatever you were previous after this 30 minutes, it will really change your total, totally mood, mood and not just that. If you continue this practice, it works on your, you know, mental patterns also. So it is like working on your behavioral and the mental patterns. After some point of time, you will see the difference in yourself because your outlook will be different. Maybe right now you might be feeling, so you will see everything around the same. What we feel inside, we reflect that outside. But the moment you start, you know, uh, start with painting inside, you will see the difference. So I have a dedicated path for that. 
to bring bring out this but let's understand 30 minutes are enough and do not bother about uh, you know uh, progress because it automatically happens with the time and it is a inevitable i mean it will happen only it is not like you know if you are not working it won't happen this exercise is already a practice the more you will do you will see the difference especially you know it will happen so you have to just leave that part you know especially uh, how it is and what will happen what no it is for your healing side so you don't have to worry about it do you want to do a simple exercise with me to understand where you are right now so let's do this exercise that is just a three questions you can just you know answer this make a note of it or you take a screenshot of it just write these three questions and you you can just reflect that if you're not writing you just reflect that how do you feel when you start your work day and how it impact your productivity do you feel like you are you are being productive and how you are interacting with your colleagues can you think of the time when poor mental health impacted your work performance what were the consequences if you don't have anything you can leave it blank what activities or practices bring you joy relaxation outside of work how can you incorporate them into your daily routine you can just you know think about it now let's uh, you know just do the self reflection exercise after answering these three questions just reflect that one liner like you know how how are how is our your day at the beginning and do you think better stress relief techniques bring more productivity happiness and success do you feel that then do you want to know path which is laid for you to achieve this under guidance so i just want you to tell the path which i have created so you will be starting your journey as a starter and within 3 months you will be achieving certain milestones and then 6 months after so you know achieving a certain milestone you will be eligible for these awards freedom finisher hall of fame and within a one year, you will be in the path of holistic growth. Wherever you are, one year is sufficient to heal everything, whatever it is issue you are going through. Even if you are not going through any stress, it's the minor stress and all, you will see the better, you know, productivity, holistic growth and career growth and relationship growth also in your life. So let's understand my model, especially, especially happiness painting model is the main course. I do have a supporting, you know, six courses which work on a different, different area, especially related to your work environment, assessing that, then your, what are your stress response, coping mechanism, how is your work-life balance, how you can energize yourself on the daily basis so that it, it can be more productive next day. And I do have a certain challenges. So basically... Do you want to start your journey with me with the personalized attention? Then I highly present to you my silver membership, which is a combination of the 11 courses. One is a main course, rest is a bonuses. So happiness painting model is the main course, which cost around 15,000 rupees, which includes the key exercise, which includes self-discovery, personality analysis, goal setting and the technique analysis, you know, time management, and then, you know, uh, creating the safe space, creating the stress relief kit, everything is there in this happiness painting model. Now, rest of the courses are addressing one, one by one, each and every area which you might be struggling right now. That is a mind vigilance launchpad will give you the stress related. What are your stress triggers? What are, how you're managing stress? What is your stress coping mechanism? How you can be better on that? Mindful Canvas Zen model will introduce you the healing art, especially related to the, how quickly, after doing this course, quickly you can start your journey with the challenge. Chronosync formula is basically for the time management because stress is proportional to the time. You know, you know uh, uh, like it is directly, if, if something is happening within your time management skill, you are more prone to the stress. So better you will manage your time, your chances of the stress will get reduced. So it is the one of the skill which is uh, highly ignored by the professionals. Now environment side, that is also if something is happening in your environment, depend on your personality because we do have a personality test discovery exercise that really impact. You got it right. So something is ha happening in your environment which you might be considering norm. 
you know this is what it happens basically in the family and the corporate this will give you address actually step by step to fix that and also fixing is the one part and energizing that is the second part so it will give you the proper strategy how you can fix that immediately so that it doesn't cause you stress and cause others also stress right because as a family or as a work environment, if you are getting impacted, it impacts others also, especially in the family condition. Work environment, I'm not very sure. You know, the moment something happened to you, they will bring a replacement. So for your family, you're the main person, especially, but not for your work environment. You know, they will get the replacement. So it's very important to prioritize yourself. So let's understand the chronozen and the equilibrium so basically that is a work life balance and other one is the environment uh, your mind especially your thought patterns mindset especially side or deadline side how you manage your deadlines especially how proactively you can you know manage that so that it doesn't cause you extreme stress and let me tell you it takes its own time and it really work Rather than, you know, uh, some working on the dogs, it will really teach you how to tackle that so that it doesn't harm you. So now let's understand a revitalized blueprint because here we are just talking about the fixing strategy. Now, when we will revitalize ourselves, when we uh, go towards the path of holistic growth, so revitalize blueprint is for that only. It will help you to revitalize, re-energize yourself to replace, replace your negative coping mechanism to the positive one. Negative coping mechanism, because you are addressing stress, you are somehow growing, right? But other way, if you have some negative ha habit, right? So it, it will again bring you down. So what you are working here, that so you have to replace that negative coping mechanism to the positive one and you have to re-energize yourself. So this blueprint will help you. Now, other than that, I do have a life challenges pentathon, which will help you to complete all the activities one by one as a mission. Other than that, I have a clarity and strategy one-to-one -one and inner circle calls also. And more than that, private community access where you can connect with the like-minded people. I do have award recognition and the live events also, which I will be giving everybody who are able to, you know, uh, uh, heal themselves and he, who are able to energize themselves so there is a different criteria for that once you will go through my happiness painting model that is the first course you will get to know other than that actually this is a you know 11 courses and overall value of this is 1,24,989 rupees because it took almost 1200 hours of research and my 8 years of experience in the painting and my my 18 years of experience in the IT assignment because I have, I took the problem which I have seen it personally, you know, practically. So I have given a, especially the approach based on my experiences and what happens frequently and how to tackle that. So everything is based on my experience, practical because I work there. So annual cost, uh, total cost is 124000 Retail price for this is 14,999 rupees. But there is a webinar special deal. So you can get everything, you know, main course and supporting bonuses are live classes and one-to-one -one also. Only rupees 4,999 4, rupees. And you can just scan this QR code because this offer is just a webinar special and after that it won't be there because... Actual cost of this is 7,999. Only for webinar, I give that in 4,999. You can scan this QR code. And if you have any question, you can definitely, uh, you know, ping me. I do have a dedicated one-to-one -one also. And uh, this price will be valid only for a minute. One minute. One second. So this price will be valid for one minute. And other than that, if you have any question, you can definitely post that into the chat window and you can ask me anytime. And I'm also giving a, a specialized one-to-one -one also. So you can connect with me after this and just give me a second. Okay. 
So thank you so much for joining this webinar and I hope uh, this will help you to take a first step towards your, especially the, you know, stress relief and healing journey. And you can now realize why it is so important to self-express and to heal your stress on the daily basis. And let me tell you, if you want to know more, you can schedule a one-to-one -one with me and you will get a better, you know, better guidance, specialized guidance with respect to what you are going through right now. So please do not delay further delay it. You can have any question. You can just post me and trust me, it will be fully confidential. I will not release because that is my one of the ethic. I do not uh, disclose anything until it's been told. You know, I do not disclose that. I haven't done in my entire career. So if something is bothering you, you can just ask me. No need to attend the webinar. You can just ask me and trust me, it will be confidential, 100%. So thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. Take care. I'll see you in my next webinar. Bye.